What is good, everybody? It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject here. Back with some more NCAA 14 FAU Dynasty. Another one of the favorites on the channel here, man. I'm glad I can finally bring this thing back to you guys. To, uh, this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the entire preseason. We're going to go ahead and get our schedule situated for next season. And we'll probably even set up our recruiting board for next season. And then after that, that's when we're going to hit week one. You know what I mean? Get the full regular season on the way. All right, man, just to recap, we did finish the season ranked four in the nation, 13-1. We lost our game to, I believe, Marshall. Very humbling experience for our guys, but we persevered, came through, won the conference championship, and won a major bowl game. Now what we're going to do is let's see who's leaving us. All right, man, so fortunately for us, no underclassmen are leaving. You see here, everybody here is a senior, a redshirt, a senior. We do have one player projected to go on the draft. That's Caleb Woods, our receiver. He played big, you know what I'm saying? Take a look at his uh, career numbers with us in the one season anyway. 28 receptions, 597 yards, one touchdown. Longest uh, reception of the season was 57 yards. All right, so this dude came in the season being an impact player, so he was on NFL scouts' radar already. But the emergence of, uh, of McDan for me, McGriff, really, you know what I mean, put his progression down a little bit. We had some other receivers step up, uh, Solomon, Terry, Bussy. They all did their thing. So Caleb Woods is projected to go. We're also losing our kicker, our starting left tackle, uh, Hayden Nagel, beast left in. He did work for us. Raquan Williams played all right this season. Gregory Howe had some key moments. Uh, Fernandez Solomon. All right, man, so taking a look at the draft results, our boy Caleb Woods did go in the fourth round. He will be in the league. That's definitely great to see. All right, man, so we're coming over here to transfer requests. People are seeing what we're doing over here, man. They want to be a part of it. So, 68 freshman uh, right in out of Maryland, 64 left outside linebacker freshman out of New Mexico State, and then we get a 73 overall freshman linebacker from Oregon State. So, definitely going to be looking forward to using Key Wetzel and seeing what we can do with him, man. All right, man, coming over to recruit, and we have six remaining scholarships, but it looks like we're only going after one person. Uh... Bama is beating us out right now for the four-star quarterback, Marcus Nunez, out of D.C. Um, we're going to give him everything in the clip, <laughs> all 15,000 points. You take a look here, some of the recruits we got, the three-star guard, Michael Thomas, four-star tackle, Josh Goodman, four-star receiver, four-star corner, three-star center, three-star receiver, three-star linebacker, another three-star receiver, two three-star receivers, three-star Three-star running back, and then nothing spectacular as we get down here. Just some fillers. We definitely see we got our kicker. Um, let's go ahead and move the week and see if we can jump over Bama and get this highly talented quarterback that we really need to come and take over after DeAndre leaves. All right, man, here we go. National signing day. Looks like we got our guy. We were able to jump over Bama and get the quarterback of the future, essentially. All right, man, so taking a look in the news, we signed the top recruiting class in the conference. We got that another four-star, our quarterback. He was a top 10 prospect in the nation. All right, man, so you see our recruiting class here. We got a uh, top 30 recruiting class, number 29 in the country. We're number one in our conference. We got four four-stars, three three-stars, five two-stars, 19 recruits overall. All right, man, here we are for position changes. We didn't recruit any athletes, so I'm not sure we're going to necessarily have to do this, but we're going to look around and see if anybody can help us. You know what I mean? More in one place than they can another. All right, man. So just like I thought, we're going to have to move a couple people over on the line. You see, right now, we're not looking too good coming into the season for centers. So we're going to go ahead and move our junior right tackle to center. He actually goes up one overall point. Yes, I understand. And we're going to leave Michael Thomas, the true freshman, coming in to start at the guard position. We're going to move Mathis over there just to, you know what I mean, to keep our depth up. We don't really expect him to play. All right, man. We can kind of use a left guard. I'm trying to see... If my freshman or my senior can go over there and make immediate impact, we got a junior over there starting right now as a 71 overall. But I'd rather have, you know, the more skilled guys go over there and do their thing. So let's see, Joey Palmer, if he was to move to left guard, he would be a 79 overall, and he would get the training points. If we move the freshman, Josh Goodman, he would be a 75 overall, but he wouldn't get the training points. So I think we're going to roll out with the senior Joey Thomas, you know what I mean? He's a little bit older, and he's a little bit going to be more okay with the move. So now our line looks like this. We got a senior 90 overall, Reggie Bain, protecting the blind side. Then at left guard, we got our newly, we got our newly changed Joey Palmer. Center, we got Jack uh, Brashears, a junior. 
I just moved – oh, the dude we just moved over from left guard. I mean, from right guard. Michael Thomas is going to now start at right guard. And then at right tackle, we got the freshman, Josh Goodman. All right, man. So left in, we got a 79 overall senior, Hunter Snyder. He's got speed. Uh, but I think we're going to move, you know what I mean, last chance to use on Tim Bonner. Actually, no. We're going to move Ernest Bagner, who's going to stay 89 overall. He played very, very well last year. He's going to move over here to start, and then Snyder's going to be his backup. Tim Bonner is now going to start over here at the right at the right end position. Then at D-tackle, yeah, I mean, uh, we could be better. But I think we're going to – actually, let's see if Snyder can move to D-tackle. Snyder would be a 77 overall D-tackle. Look at that. He is the number one guy on the depth chart just like that. So it all works out. And then linebacker Aziz Al-Shahir. He should be holding it down, man. He didn't really make that much of an impact like I thought he would last year. But I think he ended up getting hurt as well. Leroy, who was a true freshman for us, completely took over this position, man. Really, really looking for him to take over and be a leader on his defense. You see, he, got a, he was an All-American last year. And then right outside lab linebacker, we got O.C. Rose. He's a beast. He made a lot of huge tackles for us, man. So this should be this should be his year. <clears throat> All right, man. So it looks like at corner, we're going to have a true freshman in the mix. 91 speed, Darius Chase. Definitely going to make sure he starts, man. He's not going to get the training points. But, uh, you know, I, mean, I could put him at nickel, but I definitely think I'm going to put him at the number two. He's, he's not as big as the other two corners, only 5'11". But with that speed, I think he can make a difference. At safety, got my boy Andrew Soro. He made a lot of big plays last year. Uh, Stashik is a uh, is his backup. Strong safety, Jalen Young, who also made a lot of huge plays. Then we got the redshirt freshman Amon Ross, ready to take his spot after he takes off. We got our freshman kicker, who ended up being a bust, but it's the only kicker that wanted to come to our school. You know, I mean, hopefully we don't have to take that many kicks. And then we got our sophomore punter. On well, offense, is going to stay the same. New Year's is going to get redshirted. Uh, DeAndre Johnson. I won the Heisman. This is his job. He's not losing it. So, uh, you know, New Year's is just going to have to wait his turn. Um, Singletary comes back. Uh, we got two freshmen, fullbacks, two stars. And at wide receiver, we got DeAnthony McGriff coming back. Uh, he's only a 79 overall, but he got that 94 speed. McNeil also played really, really huge last year. And then we need Tavares Harrison and James Brunson to step up. At the tight end position, Harrison Bryant did a lot for us last year. He was definitely a, a great safety target, man, so looking forward to it. All right, man, so going over these training results, DeAndre Johnson got four points better, got one point faster, and he got one point excel. Let's see what his throwing stats did for him. He got one point power, throw power, three points throwing accuracy, so it's 84, 86 right now. So uh, hopefully he can make a little bit better throw. Now our running back, Devin Singletary, is clearly a workout warrior. He's a beast. He got six points better. He's now 93 overall, 84 speed. He's got 81 strength, 90 agility, 92 excel, 93 awareness. Kareth White also got six points better. So all my backs got that much better. You know what I mean? Five or six points better. Some of the uh, the highest, you know, improvements on the squad. Uh, wide receiver, DeAnthony McGriff gets five points. McNeil gets four. Harrison gets four. And Brunson gets five. McGriff also gets one point added to his speed. Two points added to his acceleration, 91 points added to his agility. Harrison Bryant got four points better along with, along with John Rain getting six points better. Ready to uh, take the reins after uh, Bryant leaves. Or, you know what I mean, for whenever we have those two tight end uh, formations. At left tackle, you know what I mean, Reggie Bain, five points better. He's now a beast. 95 overall, 92 strength, uh, 99 awareness. So we shouldn't have many sacks coming from the blind side. Joey Palmer. The senior we just moved over to left guard got five points better. Tarek Thomas got six points better, but uh, Palmer's ready to do his thing. Wish he had a little bit more awareness, but his strength is at 92, so that's definitely a good thing. At center, Jack Brashears got eight points better at center. We just moved him over. You know what I mean? We knew he can handle it, and so he's ready to go. And his backup, Richard Williams, also got seven points better. Uh, nobody's going to get better at right guard because we got all freshmen there. At right tackle, Matt Wainer and uh, Chris Jones. Got four and six points better, respectfully, but this job is definitely not theirs. Our brand new left end, Ernest Bagner, five points better, 94 overall, 80 speed, 94 awareness, 84 strength. His tackling went up two, his hit power went up four, power moves three, finesse moves five, and block shed three, along with plus four pursuit and plus four play rec. Tim Bonner got five points better at the right end position. Still wish he's a little bit better, but he definitely got four points on awareness, which is huge, 90 strength. 
when you take a look at his uh his numbers that matter, 82 <clears throat> plus two tackle, plus four uh, hit power, plus three power moves, plus four finesse, plus four block shed, plus two pursuit, and plus three play wreck. Now a D tackle Hunter Snyder who wasn't wasn't really on board with the move. You know what I mean? But he got plus two. He worked hard. 82 speed at D tackle. So that's going to be huge. Clog up the middle. is also going to be able to rush the quarterback. Plus two tackle. Plus five hit power. Plus four power move. Plus five finesse. Plus three block shed. Plus four pursuit. And plus four play wreck. Now linebacker, uh, Aziz Al-Shahir went plus four. He's now 90 overall. 88 speed. Uh, plus four awareness. Plus two excel. Achilles Leroy, the sophomore. Plus 5, 88 overall. This dude's probably going to be like a 95, 99 before he leaves. 80 speed, plus 5 awareness, plus 2 tackle, plus 2 hit power, plus 3 power move, plus 3 finesse, plus 4 block shed, plus 4 pursuit, and plus 4 play wreck. Now, right outside linebacker, OC Rose, plus 5, 88 overall, plus 179 speed, 91 awareness, 93 agility, 94 excel, plus 2 hit, plus 2 tackle, plus 2 hit power, plus 2 power move, plus 3 finesse, plus 4 block shed, Plus four pursuit and plus three play right. Now at corner, we needed these positions to definitely get a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody got decent. Uh, Herb Miller went up plus four along with Shelton Lewis. Uh, Chris Tooley plus five for a feast. Plus six for a Correll Smith and plus five for Zion Gilbert. None of these guys are necessarily burners, but I'm still probably, like I said, going to start that true freshman. At free safety, Andrew Soro got plus five. 79 overall, 85 speed. 92 agility, 93 excel. And that strong safety, Jalen Young, is now over the 90 threshold. 92 overall with the plus 5. Plus 1 speed, 90 speed. Now he's got plus 2 excel, 97 excel. Flying all over the field. 99 awareness, which is huge, and 96 agility. And our punter is the 91 overall redshirt sophomore. Got plus 7. I think that's definitely, I think that's, uh, besides one of the running backs, the highest uh, training result that we can get towards the overall. All right, man, so this right here is the worst part of a coach's job. Cut players, you see we're uh, exceeding the roster size by nine, but we got to do what we got to do. All right, man, so unfortunately, I think we can go ahead and part ways with the red shirt senior, Gerald Hearns. Don't really see him getting much burn. He's not really going to be productive at all. We actually need all these receivers, I would say. We got two seniors leaving, two red shirt juniors who could leave, so we'll keep them. All right, man, so we got one more player to go, and we really can't think about who that player is going to be. So, unfortunately, we're just going to play, you know what I mean, the weakest link. The worst player on the team is an incoming freshman power back. You know what I mean? 61 overall, only 81 speed. He really doesn't fit our scheme, so unfortunately, he's going to have to go. All right, man, so here we are in the preseason. We didn't change our conference. We're going to stay in the Conference USA one more year just because we did lose a game, so it's still possible. So we come into the season ranked in the top 25, 19 overall to be exact. So, uh, yeah, man, um, let's go ahead and uh, set up this recruiting board. All right, all right, man. So, this is right now is all the recruits that are interested in us. Let's see if there's going to be any four or five stars. There weren't really last year either. We definitely had to, you know what I mean, force their hand a little bit and show them that we were capable of their services. Okay, so we got a wide receiver, four star from Venice, Florida. You know what I mean? We're in third place with him. All right, man, now what we want to do is we want to see what our actual team needs are going to be going forward. So we have two senior tackles leaving this year, but we only need one. We're going to need one quarterback, and then we're going to need one D tackle. Because what we don't want to do is we don't want to recruit a lot of people and then having to end up doing what we just did when it comes to cutting. But if they are better, I don't mind cutting the people that are worse than them. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. So it said we need the quarterback. We got a three-star whose radar we are on, two of them actually. It also said we needed one offensive tackle. Uh, we only got one three-star whose radar we on just because they know we got some freshmen who are probably going to play all four years. But, you know what I mean, we're going to we're gonna fix that down the stretch. We're going to recruit them for now. But once players start falling off into some of these bigger schools' lists, you know what I mean, they'll fall right in our laps. Then over here to D-tackle, we got one three-guard who's fucking with us. We got a two-star. All right, man, so so far we have ten total recruits on our board. In the beginning, I don't I don't like to do more than you know like like between 15 and 20. So we're not gonna go OD. Just look at some that we want. Then we're gonna go ahead and get uh, the scouting in. So let's just try to add one more recruit, maybe even a corner. So we'll add we'll add 16 total. All right, man. Here we are, red shirt players setting up the future of the program. You see here, New Year's is technically ready to be the number two quarterback off rip, but we're gonna go ahead and save him. Hicks, not sure how much. 
you know what I mean, he's going to contribute in the future, but we want to save his, we want to save his years of eligibility. Um, all these freshman receivers are going to get redshirted. I'm really, really excited about Kenny Sullivan. 6'5", 96 overall. His Excel is extremely trash, but hopefully we can work on that. Going to go ahead and redshirt Ben Mathis. He's not going to play. That's Thomas's spot. Goodman's starting. All right, man, so looking at the depth chart, we don't have a third-string quarterback. We got Koran Hafiz, you know what I mean, stepping in. He's got 89 speed, so maybe we can do something with him. Let's see what his throw power and everything is. And actually, not bad. It's actually just his... He's actually kind of just as good as Driscoll, just faster, so we can rock with that. Running backs. This is looking good. Hopefully, we don't need a third string running back. Hafiz can do it all, man, it looks like. Fullback's good. We're good at receiver. Tight end, same. All right, so left tackle, you know what I mean? Bain. Palmer at the left guard. Pressures at the center. Michael Thomas at right guard. Good men starting at right tackle. Left end bag in the right end Bonner. D tackles Snyder and Leggett. Left outside linebacker Al Shahir. Leroy. Wow. So <laughs> looks like Hafiz is going to be starting as our middle linebacker, dog. He's a 77 overall middle linebacker. I wish I would have known that. I would have had no problem moving him to the middle linebacker. So we, we're probably going to play a 3 4. It's crazy that Hafiz is this much better at all these other positions, but he's only a 74 corner. But it's good that he, that he has the, um, you know what I mean, the ability to play all over the field, that utility man, Iron Man uh, aspect to him. Free safety, Andrew Sorrell holding it down. And then strong safety, my boy Jalen Young. Okay, so it's looking good all around. All right, man, last but not least, we got our schedule. And it looks like automatically Alabama is on our schedule week two. We're not going to shy from it. We're going to be on the road. We're going to do what we got to do. We got a tough road. We got an A- schedule. We got number 11 UCLA to start off the season. Number one, Bama. Number four, Louisville, followed by number five, Penn State. So the first four weeks of the season are absolutely crazy. Actually, you know what? No. We're going to leave the first week open. We're going to do, you know, we're just going to recruit for the first week. And then we're going to play the next couple weeks back to back to back. So if UCLA is still open for this week, we'll be good money to play them. Looks like they're not. I was actually looking forward to playing UCLA. Let's see. Anybody ranked higher than them available? All right, so yeah, we, we, I guess we'll rock out with Washington. So that actually puts our strength of schedule up to up to an A+, plus, but we're also not playing that on the road. We're going to play that at home. All right, so week one's open, and then right after that, we're going to start off with Bama, Louisville, Penn State, Washington, Rice, Marshall. So we're going to play six weeks in a row before we get a bye, man. But we're going to, we got to do what we got to do, man. So it's definitely looking good. That's going to do it for this episode, man. So if you enjoyed Stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below if you're ready for the season. This is going to be our first real test, man. We're playing a lot of great teams. I mean, we played good teams last year. We played Miami. We played Florida. We played Florida State. We beat all of them. We only lost to Marshall. So hopefully we can come out and beat some more ranked opponents, man. So it's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Okay.